Greetings fellow gorehounds and welcome back to a blood splattered vlog. I'm the horror guru and today I'm going to talk about Slaughterhouse Rules with a Z. And for those of you who don't know, Slaughterhouse Rules is a British horror comedy from 2018. In fact, over in the UK it was released Halloween 2018, which is pretty damn cool, but it didn't get an official American release until 2019. And so that's why I'm talking about it now and not back then. Anyway, now that I got all that bullshit out of the way, let us talk about how I felt about Slaughterhouse Rules now that I've finally got a chance to see it. And I gotta say, I had a lot of fun with this movie. I thought it was thoroughly funny from start to finish. I thought the characters were really awesome and enjoyable. Even some of the assholes that you kind of love to hate, I enjoyed them as well. And I thought its two main themes were really well realized artistically. The first one, of course, being that boarding school is hell both literally in the movie and metaphorically for the viewer, with, of course, its second theme being, um, well, how do I put this, um, fuck the rich, which, of course, is a theme that's very near and dear to my punk rock and heavy metal sensibilities. One thing that totally took me off guard, though, in a legitimately good way is, holy shit, this movie gets gory as fuck. Like, once the shit hits the fan in this movie, we see people being eviscerated. Arms, legs, heads severed, blood gushing out of orifices, and just people being eaten alive in really enjoyable fucking ways. And another thing I really liked about this movie was that it was really cool to see Simon Pegg and Nick Frost in another horror comedy. It's been a while since At World's End, so seeing them both on screen definitely brought a smile to my face. I do wish I got to see more of them actually together together, since most of their scenes, actually all of their scenes, are separate, but it was still cool they're both in this movie. Also, for all those Margot Robbie or Michael Sheen stands out there, they're both in this movie too, so if you haven't seen it yet, you might want to get on that. Unfortunately, it's hard to talk about most of the things I liked about this movie because it is a comedy at the end of the day, so most of the things I liked were really funny jokes that were told really well, and uh, if I just retell them to you right now, you're not going to get the same feeling as if you just watched it for yourself, so needless to say, I thought this movie was funny, and you should go see it, so uh, highly recommended. Anyway, my fellow gorehounds, if you're looking for a movie that's kind of like if Attack the Block was set in an upper-class British boarding school and adjusted its social commentary to fit that setting, then uh, this is the movie for you. It's gory, it's funny, it's timely, and on top of that, it's got some awesome creature designs. Even if at times you can tell it was filmed on a really low budget, but for me personally, that just added to the film's charm. Your results may vary with that, though, so you've been warned. Oh yeah, and one last thing before we get to the spoilers, I do want to also mention that one thing I also liked about this movie is the goddamn punk rock soundtrack. Scattered throughout this entire movie, there are these songs that play that definitely set the mood for the kind of movie it is, and uh, I like those songs, so I like their inclusion. And with that said, I'll include some sort of Amazon affiliate link in the description below, and if you click that link and buy or rent the movie with that link, then I will get a kickback from it. And for all you animal lovers out there, I don't want to spoil too much, but let me just say that, um, keep calm and don't worry, it'll be okay. What you think is going to happen is probably not what's actually going to happen, so, uh, keep your chin up. And with that said, let us finally move on to the spoilers. Alright, so for this spoiler section, I'm going to first give you a brief rundown of the premise of this movie, which I didn't give in the non-spoiler section because I kind of want people to go into this movie blind like I did. And then I'm going to give you three spoiler-filled reasons why you should see this movie right away, and if you're not sold on those three reasons, then you should probably skip it. Alright? Alright, so the premise of this movie is, is we follow this kid who is entering this British boarding school, but the British boarding school is currently dealing with this fracking operation that is happening on school grounds because the dean sold off part of the land to these frackers because he's a greedy bastard and a rich fuck. And so unfortunately, on top of having to deal with this class-based bullying that's happening at this school, this kid and his new friends have to deal with the fact that this fracking operation accidentally unleashes all these underground monsters on campus. And these monsters wreak havoc and eat the students and the faculty, and it is just chaos. It's blood, it's guts, it's hilarity, it's great. And if that premise alone hasn't sold you on the movie, here are three spoiler-filled reasons why you should absolutely see Slaughterhouse Rules. Number one, the monsters in this movie are simultaneously horrifying and fucking adorable. They're like a cross between naked mole rats and hellhounds. 
And at one point you see a baby version of them. And oh my God, when that came on screen, my heart, that thing is just so damn cute. And of course you get the adult versions, which are way more horrifying and eat people alive. And it's great. Reason number two, have you ever wanted to see Nick Frost play a crazy eco hippie who is drugged out of his mind and trying to sell all these teenagers drugs throughout the entire film while also trying to save the environment? Then this is the movie for you. And reason number three is this. In this movie, there is a fucking orgy that happens among the upperclassmen. And in this orgy, it's Greek themed, so they're dressed up as like Greek gods, and like one of them's a minotaur and tortures people with SM shit. And on top of that, the orgy is interrupted by the monsters, so you end up with this weird sex and violence craze scene in which these upperclassmen, who are also rich fucks that are planning on destroying the world and the environment in the future, being slaughtered by these fucking mole dog things. And it is great. I love it. 10 out of fucking 10 for this scene alone. <laughs> And with that said, my fellow Gorehounds, I've said all I need to say about Slaughterhouse Rules. If you're not sold based on these facts alone, then I don't know what to tell you. So as per usual, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so that you're notified of my videos immediately upon their upload. And if you're feeling especially generous, be sure to check out my Patreon page, and know that if you decide to go the Patreon route, remember that even a dollar a month, it can go a long way and help me keep my roof over my head, so every cent counts. And with all that said, my fellow Gorehounds, I hope you all had a wonderful holiday season, and uh, I'm going to catch you all later. Peace out.